Imagine getting paid just for sharing your thoughts on products and services you use every day. With Survey Junkie, it's that simple. Click on the link in the video description to discover how you can start earning today by taking surveys. A husband watched as his wife and son were killed by a dangerous driver who crashed into them head-on and then hid from the police. Angela Boyack, 59, and her son, Stephen, 22, were driving along the A632 Chesterfield Road in Derbyshire when Joshua Hill, 27, crashed into them. He had been attempting to overtake their car in his BMW X3 in the rain and collided head-on with Ms. Boyack's Hyundai i20 traveling in the opposite direction, killing her instantly. Stephen, who had been driving the car, suffered serious injuries and was taken to hospital where he died a short time later. Hill pleaded guilty to causing death by dangerous driving, causing death by driving while unlicensed slash uninsured, failing to stop after an accident and failing to report an accident. Ms. Boyack's husband, William, was driving with his elder son behind his wife and witnessed the fatal collision. In a victim impact statement, William said, I am still constantly having the most horrific and soul-sickening flashbacks to the collision which continue to be crippling for me. Losing my wife, Angela, and my son, Stephen, has ruined my life in every sense of the word and meaning. If losing Angela was not enough, I lost my youngest, beautiful gentle giant of a son. This has utterly and totally destroyed me. He was only 22 years old and had his whole life to live. Hill ran from the scene of the collision, stopping a passing motorist and asking for a lift into Chesterfield, before getting the bus to Sheffield. He then hid at various properties in the city for two days before being arrested on December 11, 2023. Hill, of Weta Road, in Sheffield, South Yorkshire, initially denied the charges before entering a guilty plea on the first day of his trial in May 2024. He was jailed for 13 years at Derby Crown Court on June 7, 2024. William said, There are not words in the English language to describe the disgust and contempt that I have for Hill. The fact he stood there watching the carnage that he had perpetrated and didn't help. Hill's actions on that day have robbed me of my wife and my son and has destroyed my life. I will never forgive him or forget his actions and the damage he has done. To put myself, my son, my family and friends through so much heartache and uncertainty whilst knowing his guilt and culpability in the deaths of two people. The fact that he knew he was guilty and refused to acknowledge his actions which caused the death of two innocent souls, then waiting for almost five months to admit to what the evidence clearly shows. The heartache, stress, pain and desolation are unbearable. Why, why did you do this? That is what I want to know. Detective Constable Ian Niven, who led the investigation, said, This was an horrific collision which caused the deaths of two people who were in the area visiting family. The fact that it occurred in front of Angela's husband and son is even more devastating. For Hill to then run from the scene while other members of the public rushed to help shows his blatant disregard for anyone else. Sadly for Angela and Stephen's family, the consequences of Hill's actions on that day will live with them forever as they have to face the future without their loved ones. While nothing can ever bring Angela and Stephen back, I hope that knowing Hill is now behind bars for some considerable time allows their family some small comfort.